Hi. All right, we're moving to question two, and it's pretty interesting. Sum they said, hey, the diagram P Q P Q R S T U is a part of a regular polygon of n sides. Its exterior angle is forty degrees, and they tell us that Q R and S T are produced to meet at V. Calculate the number of sides of this polygon. All right, when I talk about the number of sides, I think I should be more specific. The number of sides of the polygon, all right, of the above polygon, that may be better for you to clear. Polygon. Now, and also they want to find angle SRT. Let me shade this angle SRT. This angle they want you to find out, and they want to find out QRT. QRT is this angle, all right, and then they want to find out Q. T U Q T U is this angle here, all right? This angle here, Q T U. Do you want to find out? All right, my dear. Let's get moving. Now, if you look at the polygon having n sides and the exterior angle is forty degrees, we said earlier on. Remember, all right? In question two, we said that there be n exterior angles. And the sum of these exterior angles is three hundred sixty degrees, and the E here is equal to forty degrees. So when E is forty degrees, all right. So we have forty N is three hundred and sixty. What is N gonna be? Three sixty divided by forty. Zoop zap. Your N has nine sides. Therefore, the polygon has. Nine sides is a nonagon, nonagon. All right, n o n a g o n, a regular polygon with nine sides. Well, they want to find angle S R T, the red shaded part. What will be the interior angle? You know the exterior is forty. What's the interior angle? All right, hundred and forty. Yes, interior plus exterior. Will give us 180 degrees. So you take away the 40, you get 140 degrees. You don't have to work the formula n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, right? Not necessary, and you substitute n as nine sides. Oh, long, all right? So we know why because interior plus exterior is 180 degrees. Now once you've got that. We want to find out. We said, "Hey, we want to find out what is SRT." Now these sides are all equal, regular polygon. All right. So this angle here is hundred and forty degrees, right? So can I call SRT an isosceles triangle? Yeah. So you said, "Okay, angle S triangle, triangle S." R T S R T sorry S R T is an isosceles triangle. You can see that S R equals to S T. So therefore, angle S R T, a picture is worth a hundred words, a thousand words, a million words. It tells you all. This is hundred forty. This is a base angle. So it will be hundred and eighty minus hundred and forty. Divided by two, base angle of isosceles triangle. Okay, so you got a forty divided by two. It's a twenty degrees. Hey, that's your answer. So having known this as twenty degrees, what is angle QRT going to be? What is this whole angle? QRS is hundred and forty. All right. So you can say that angle QRS is 140 degrees because it's an interior angle of the polygon. So what is QRT gonna be? All right. So angle QRT will be 180. I'm sorry, 140 minus the 20 degrees. So listen, this angle here will be. A hundred and forty minus twenty degrees. It will be a hundred 
and 20 degrees therefore right now how about q t u they want to find out this angle q t u is it a what is this angle here we know this is 20 what is this angle going to be this is also 20 right and we know this is 120 we just found out okay 120 and now we look at it and we said okay what is this angle going to be look at it very carefully and we have two sides equal okay what is this angle we know the whole angle is 140 140 this is 120 all right now this is 20 look at it carefully what is that angle going to be is qt parallel to rs is qt parallel to rs now if these two sides are equal you look at it these two sides are equal and you got the same length and that's 140 and 140 we call this an isosceles trapezium an isosceles trapezium it meant that you have a size here and this angle is 140 degrees this angle here is 140 degrees and these two lengths are equal you see this 140 this 140 all right and the two angles are equal obviously all right they're the same distance the same angle so this if i were to join this line this will be 40 degrees and this will be 40 degrees and this is an isosceles trapezium so if you look at it and you said hey you all right so this will be 40 degrees and if this is 20 this angle here all right i shall call this a1 and I should call this A2. A1 is 20 degrees. All right? Or if you look at it, STR. Angle STR is 20 degrees. All right? Because of isosceles triangle. Mm. And angle STQ. You look at it, STQ. If this is 140, angle ST. Q is 40 degrees, all right, because these two lines, QT is parallel to RS or SR, all right, we call it isosceles trapezium. What's isosceles trapezium? QRST, isosceles, because of the two angles being equal and the two sides being equal. Take note, it's a very important point. So this shape, so if I drop this line, all right, they will be of equal height and this, if you look at it, so this will be parallel. This will be 40, 140. So if this is 20, A2, all right, or STQ is 40 degrees. So what will RTQ be? That's your A2. R, angle RTQ. Yes, which I, let me write it as A2, alright, it's a 40 minus your 20, 40 minus 20, it will be 20 degrees, so this is 20, anyway, I don't even have to go into all that, I just want to show you this is 40 degrees, alright, so what will be QTU, this whole angle here is 140, 140 minus 40 will be a very clear cut without this explanation too. All right, I just want to take note of isosceles trapezium. So angle QTU will be 140 minus 40 degrees and that angle will be 100 degrees. All right, so the concept of parallel lines are very important. Interior opposite angles. Analyzing it, understanding what is an isosceles trapezium. An isosceles trapezium is a trapezium where you have two sides, all right, parallel, and these two, okay, parallel, and this length equals to this length, 
an isosceles trapezium. When you get that, then these angles here, this angle equals to this angle, and this angle here will be equal to this angle. We call this figure isosceles trapezium. I just wanted you to be familiar. Is my writing neat? Oh no, it looks a bit un can't read. Ah uh ah. -uh. So we call this figure an isosceles trapezium. All right, where two sides are equal and two sides are parallel, the opposite sides. Take note of that. Now let's move on. So we've got all the angles here. We've got SRT to be. SRT is how much? 20 degrees, yep. And your QRT, your QRT is 120 degrees, and this is 100 degrees. I hope that is clear to you. A very quick run on this. Look at the figure again. Its exterior angle is 40 degrees. You can find the number of sides. <clears throat> I told you the rambutans, all right? It's irritating my throat. Um, all right, 260 divided by 40, you get 9. It is a 9 sided polygon, a nonagon. And then you want to find out what is this angle, SRT. We know this 140 isosceles triangle, take away the 140, that's a 20. And once you get a 20, what is QRT? Beautiful, 140 minus 20, you get 120. The next thing they want is this. We know this is an isosceles trapezium 140 here 40 and this whole angle interior angle 140 degrees take off the 40 degrees you get it a hundred that makes it straight and easy all right now the beautiful part is that if I know this is 20 right listen we know this 20 this 120 this will be 140 you can see that this is also 40. I want to show you, you look at it convincingly, 40 degrees and this is 140. That's why the two lines are parallel. You can see it looking at you. All right, a very clear evidence, put them together. Now the next sum, my dear friends, I want to do it with this minimal space because I want to show you that interior polygons are really easy. They are talking about a regular polygon with n sides and the size of each interior angle is seven times the size of each exterior angle. So that means the I is equal to 7E interior angle. Alright, calculate the size of the each interior and the exterior angle this polygon and they want to find the number of sides. Wow! The interior plus the exterior is how much? 180 degrees. If the interior angle is 7E and the exterior angle is E, how much do you get? How many interior angles do you get? 8E. Alright, I plus E is equal to 180. The I is a 7E plus the E is 180 degrees. Interior plus exterior is a straight line. The angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. Well, the exterior angle that, that can be found out, you divide 180 by 8 and you get caterpillar division. As I said, shortcut, you get divide, you get a 2, all right? You carry the 2 here, you get a, what do you get? A 20, you get a 2, a 16, carry the 4, you get a 5. A 22 and half degree. So the interior, that's the exterior angle. The exterior angle is 22 and a half degrees. All right? Because they said the interior is seven times 7E. The exterior angle, let it be E. 7E plus E is 180 degrees. Divide it by eight, and you get that answer staring at your face. So exterior angle. You're 22 and a half degree. What will the interior angle be? 180, all right? Okay, the interior angle will be 180 minus 22.5, all right? 180, keep the 180, take away 22.5, chop off the 2.5, you get 5, here's a 7.5, 157 
0.5 degrees. Wow! So that's what you've got. Now from here, you want to find out the number of sides that a polygon has. Now the number of sides that a polygon has, my dear friends, is just 180 divided by 22.5. Very clearly it stares at you. It has 8 sides. Alright, we just worked that out. We can see that. 180 divided, you bring the A up, you bring the E down, it can tell you. So the number of sides is 8. If you're not convinced, use your calculator everybody and put it down a 180. Ah uh ah, -uh, pressing my finger is fat. Divided by 22.5 and you get 8 at you. Alright? So this is an 8 sided polygon. You call it an octagon. Alright, eight-sided polygon and octagon. That's done. Now they want you to find out the value of the size of the exterior angle of a hexagon divided by the size of the exterior angle of an octagon. Both of them are regular polygons. Hexagon. What about a hexagon? How many sides does it have? Six. 360 divided by six, you get 60. Right? That's the size of a hexagon. What is the size of an octagon? We just found out 8 sided. Hey, you're 22.5. So 60 divided by 22.5, you get your answer. Alright? Put it into a calculator. Alright, 60 divided by 22.5. Answer. Alright, is 8 over 3. Ooh, the ratio is 8 thirds. That means if you look at a hexagon, exterior angle, the exterior angle of a hexagon, all right, is eight times, and the, whereas the exterior angle of a regular oct octagon is three times. So as you get more sides, what does it tell you when you get more and more sides? The exterior angle is getting smaller and smaller. Remember, NE equals to 360 degrees. When you have 50 sides, 360 divided by 50. Wow, and the interior angle is getting a lot more bigger. Alright, so you can see from here, it's a beautiful sum. A very quick run, regular polygon, and size, the size, interior angle is 7 times. So, and the size of the size of each exterior angle. Exterior angle, let it be E, interior 7E. 8E is 180 degrees. Alright, interior plus exterior is always a straight line. So you found the size of the exterior angle to be 22.5 degrees. What is the interior angle? 180 minus 22.5. Number of sides? 180 divided by 22.5 will give you 8 sides. This polygon here is an octagon. They want you to write down the value of the size of the exterior angle of a hexagon regular hexagon please take note and over the size of an exterior angle of a regular octagon the hexagon has 360 degrees exterior angle the sum six exterior sides six exterior angles is 360 one exterior angle you divide by six you get 60 degrees that's how i got there and you divide it by the size of the ex regular octagon which we got 22.5 right and that's the ratio learning point here for this sums is that as we get more sides all right if we have 360 sides imagine what is the exterior angle gonna be 360 exterior angles three equal to 360 degrees one exterior angle Woo is how much? 1 degree. And what's the size of the interior angle? 200, no, 179 degrees. Yes, because 179 interior plus exterior plus the 1 degree give you 180. All right, we're going to go on to two more sums before we call it, yeah, you've mastered polygon.